Hello, I'm Father James Kubicki with an easy question for you. Which of the 12 apostles has a descriptive word attached to his name so that people for centuries have used it as an insult for people who are slow to believe? I'm sure you guessed it. Thomas, the apostle whom the church celebrates today and whose name often appears with the word doubting. Poor Thomas. He wasn't there on the first Easter night when Jesus appeared to the other apostles, and he wouldn't believe them when they told him they'd seen the Lord. Where was he? Maybe he was the bravest of the bunch, the only one who had the guts to go out and get food for the rest who were cowering and afraid of being killed as their leader Jesus had been. At any rate, a week later Jesus appeared again in the upper room, and this time Thomas was with them. He touched the wounds of Jesus and made a profession of faith that was greater than any other. He proclaimed, My Lord and my God. I think there's a lesson here for us. We often think that doubt and faith are mutually exclusive, that if you have one, you won't have the other. But faith is a matter of degrees. Thomas shows us that when we're confused and struggling to believe, we're called to exercise our faith so that it will grow. Those moments of doubt and confusion are really opportunities to grow in faith by exercising it, just the way our physical muscles grow by pushing against something that resists. So, the next time you find yourself struggling in your faith, make an act of faith and exercise it. Your faith, like the faith of doubting Thomas, will grow, and you too will say words that surely pleased Jesus to hear, My Lord and my God.